Okay, in this next part, I'm going to quickly show you how to be able to create the leg for Blastoise. It'll end up looking like this. And I'm going to show you how to be able to do um, one side first. And then the opposite, the opposite leg is going to be done uh, on just in a different formation. But I'll show you how to do that one quickly also. So you're going to need your foot, your knee pad. For the foot, I just extended that little part and I took out the C-clip instead. I just put two bands and did an, an extension uh, with the slip knot. So if you want to go ahead and do that, we're going to need it anyway, so you can do it later. We're going to start off with our configuration this way. Um, in order for you to do this correctly, there are um, some sections right here on your foot. And if you can see, they're the ones that go, kind of go this way. So there's it's growing. Okay, so it's growing out from like the inside right here from the middle. And then you have these stoppers right here, these things. Let me just go ahead and I'm talking about these bands. These are the bands we're going to be connecting onto your leg, right? So for that, we have two right here, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right there, it's just kind of hidden. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 of them. There we go. Yeah, so there's 13. So there's two right here. Right. And we have obviously um, the pegs right here, but we're not going to be using all of them. Instead, we're going to be skipping on. And some because we're going to be starting from the fourth peg so one two three four the fourth peg here because we're going to go down right we're going to go this way so it's going to have one peg two three four five six seven eight uh nine ten we're only going to be using ten pegs okay because we're going to be ending also on the fourth peg here but you see how we're going in this diagonal so we're only using ten pegs Oops, 10 pegs right here. So we have two empty ones on this side and one empty one on this side. So it depends on your configuration. If your configuration is different, it doesn't matter. As long as you have 10 pegs in the bottom and they direct upwards like this, okay? So you might have two empty pegs here or two, the two empty pegs here, okay? Just like mine. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to need double bands on each one of these. We're going to be starting right here on our fourth peg. And this is going to be where our arrow starts. Go ahead and create your arrow. Pointing out this way where you with your regular arrows of on your pegs facing this direction. Okay. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, create our diamond by closing it up. All right. And from there we're gonna continue with this configuration, making this big banner diamond, okay? So double bands again. We're always using double bands unless I tell you to. And go ahead and extend both sides. And now we're going to go inside. Let's go inside on both of them. Two bands, yes, two bands. And then continue to close it up. So now this way and this way. All right. Now go ahead and extend again from the top and the bottom. So I'm going to extend it this way. And now extend the top. Right. And there you go. So this is going to be the final one. Now we're going to start going directly like this all the way down. Um, just want to go ahead and confirm that that's correct. Um, no, actually, we're going to do one more on top of here. Totally forgot about that. But let's go ahead and do our inside zigzag now. So now we're going to go inside. Go inside. And then inside again. Continue doing your zigzag motion uh, from top to bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom. Okay. And then our final close. Closing right here. 
All right, so you see how we keep doing the zigzag pattern that we have pretty much been doing for most of Blastoise already? All right, now this one is going to be extended one last time right here. Okay, obviously we cannot extend over here, so we're just going to go ahead and start going to the right. And now let's go ahead and start closing it up with our zigzag. So right there you make a zigzag. Right here also, it's going to be this way. So start closing. Continue until you get to the middle. And there you go. All right, so again, over here on the top, we, we're we not going to extend anymore, so we're just going to go directly to the right, just like we did in the bottom. And the same thing right here, um, instead of doing another extension, we're actually going to start closing it up because we have room right here to, we have to create the zigzag part. So go ahead and do that. So now from the top and the bottom. You're going to continue doing this for a while until we start getting to towards the end to be able to close it up as a tip. We're done with that one. So now we're going to do our extension over here. Right. And now we need to go inside right here. Right. So you're going di on diagonal. And go ahead and close it up. So this here. This here. 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 Okay. And continue again. So then here we're doing an, an extension. Oops, no, sorry. We're we're going diagonal. We're going diagonal up. <laughs> Alright. And then on the top we're doing the extension. So go ahead and continue. As long as you always mean towards the middle, it's always fine. And let's go ahead and continue. Now our extension. And up here, diagonal. Okay, so now, again right here we do diagonal, and the opposite up here we do an extension. Diagonal up here, extension in the bottom.
iron it all down here. Extension on the top. Extension down here. Diagonal at the top. Like I said, you have to remember you're going to be stopping on the tenth peg that you cover, okay? So once we start getting close over here, we're going to start to um, close up our into a point here. So just continue. Extension up here. Diagonal down here. Extension down here, diagonal up here. up here. Extension down here. Diagonal up here. Diagonal. Extension. Extension. Diagonal.
We're almost there. There's going to be our last peg before we start going into a point. This goes diagonal and extension up here. Okay, and then extension here, this is our last extension. Diagonal up here. Okay, right here, we're not doing any more extensions. We're going to continue from this point on to to meet here at this point, okay? So, like I said, we're meeting at this point. So, right here, we're going diagonal. And up here, we're going diagonal, but from this point. All right, because we need to close it up. So now go ahead and continue with your zigzag. Now, again, continue closing it up to the point. Right there. Here. And then the last point right here. Here. All right. So now we're done with our pattern. So it should be uh equal you have one two three four pegs right here and then you have your five pegs going up this way okay with your ten pegs going down here and over here it's nine pegs okay so now our foot is going to be attached to the section that i mentioned down here and our knee pad will be connected to these sides right here and right here. As we start getting closer to the edge, it'll be harder. And so there's gonna be a lot of stretching involved, so you wanna be very careful in this point. First thing you wanna do is of course, you wanna start from the point. Right here from this point, we're going to be adding our knee pad. This is gonna be the back of your knee pad, so this is the front, obviously because it's curving. You see how it's kinda of like a bowl? So in order to be able to add it on, your knee pad is going to be like this. So you want to flip it over, right, to the ball section. And then there is this part down here where you have your cap band, right? The cap band right there. And then you have this section. You're going to have these bands in the back. And then there's these right here in the front. We're not going to be using these, right, or the four. We're only going to be using the back two. Right. These back two bands are the ones that we're going to be using to attach. So the first one we're going to be attaching uh, will be this one right here in the point. And in order to be able to figure it out, we have one, two, three, four points. The first point is going to be this one, not the cap band, but this one. This is going to be two. This is going to be three. So this is our fourth one. Right. That fourth one, you will apply it right here, kind of like a cap. And now you can start looming. So you're gonna go ahead and loom the top one first, and then loom the next set. Okay. And that's good for right now. The next thing we're gonna do is we're going to attach the next two sides. So obviously we just attached that one. So the, these two in the back will be attached here 
right? And then these will be attached here. So if you want to go ahead and loom these now, go ahead and do so. That way it doesn't move on you. So you're going to loom that there and loom these here. All right. Next will be this one. So you're going to grab the back two right here. Attach it onto this one. Now I'm going to go ahead and start looming here. Already you can kind of see the tension and it's going to start getting difficult. So you want to be careful during this process. All right. As I'm going along, I may be taking out a few so that way it's a little bit easier so it's not as stretched out. All right. Before we do any more looming, of course, we have to connect the rest of them. But I can actually be able to loom this center one right now. So I'm going to grab the top two. They're going into one direction. I'm going to push down so that way they don't move. And then grab the bottom two. Then they go in that direction. Okay. All right. Don't do any more looming because now we need to do this one and this one. So again, um, if you want to just go ahead and continue looming this way, this way first, it'll be it'll probably be easier. So let's go ahead and mm, I think it might be unless this way. Yeah, I think this is this side is probably going to be easier as we start attaching our foot over. So we're going to start on this side then. So next, go ahead and grab the next two right here. I'm going to do this here, touch to this one, and grab the next two. I'm using my fingers to help me push the bands down so that way they don't fly out. Now that one's complete, I'm going to do um, the ones on, on the inside. You always want your teardrops to be in a pattern. So right here there's a pattern, so you, these two are the next ones. So let's go ahead and loom these. This one goes first, and then these are next. So now you see how there's a pattern in teardrops right here? And obviously we cannot do this one because these are right here, so we cannot be able to intersect these. All right. So now I can go ahead and take out this one. So these two are now um, taken off. And I'm going to attach the next one here. So I need to look for it. It's going to be this one. All right. So there's some stretching involved right here. So go ahead and loom that. Okay. All right. So now uh, we can go ahead and loom this one right here because we want our pattern to continue. So it's going to be right here. The ones that go towards the inside are always first, just because of the way that we we place our our bands onto the loom. Right. So now we have our pattern like this. So you're gonna continually seeing that, and then we're gonna continue going, growing in this angle, All right? So I hope you guys are getting like what I mean. <laughs> now I can actually be able to lift this one to relieve some stress, and I'm gonna attach the one right here. All right. So this is gonna be the last. Last one. So this is going to be a stretch also, so be careful. Grab the top two bands that need to be loomed towards the inside, and then the ones that need to be loomed upwards. Okay. And now to continue with our T drop section, these have to be loomed. The ones to the inside are always first. All right. And there's nothing going to be attached over here, so we can actually be able to loom these. So to finish up this teardrop, let's go ahead and loom this section. So I'm going to get it in correctly, and there we go, these two. And then the one that goes upwards. Now our teardrops have all been done. And then this one, of course. There's nothing that has not been connected, so everything is connected. So now we can go ahead and take out the back row to relieve some stress from the stretching. 
All right. Now we can go ahead and continue um, connecting the rest of this side. So now from here, the next two bands are going to be these two, which are going to go right here. All right. So this is going to be a stretch also. So go ahead and put it right there and grab the first two bands, the ones that go to the insider first. And I'm going to push down so they don't fall. And then the last two bands right here. All right, so now that we have this teardrop forming, we can actually be able to do all of these. Okay, so let's go ahead and loop all these so we can relieve some, some tension. to the peg so I can make sure I have the correct bands here. Is this not? Mm, nope, they're obviously not the correct bands. So I'm going to have to put them back because nothing is being stretched from where I want it to be. Let's do this again. It just looks like only a section of it got cut down. So let's do it again. All right, there we go. Now I have the correct ones. Yep, so now my teardrop formed. I'm going to push down so that way nothing comes out. Put this back on there. And grab the last two bands. Oh, nope, too many bands. There we go. All right, <laughs> that took longer than expected. So let's go ahead and continue our teardrops in this motion. And this one too. All right, now we can take out this back row. Just the back row, so it, it'll relieve tension. And we're gonna continue doing this. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and attach the next one right here. So it's just band. So it's not the cap band, okay? Not the circle one, but the one that's last right here. All right. Before we start to loom, we have to now attach the foot. All right. So I'm gonna leave it there and push down so that way my bands don't fall. So now in order to be able to attach the foot, since there is only 10 pegs, five on this side will be attached and five on this side will be attached. We're not gonna be attaching the back one. So this is the easy one to be able to figure out. So this back middle one will, will not be attached to anything. So this is one, two, three, four, five. That means these two front ones will not be attached to anything. You have five on this side, five on this side. The two front ones will not be attached and the back middle one will not be attached. So now that you have the two front ones, we're going to start with the ones on, with the one on the front first. So obviously these two front ones are not going to be attached. Actually, I think it's only one. Yeah, it's only one. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was miscounting. So it's this one. We only have 12 in total. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, never mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> My mistake. So there's only 12. All right. So if you guys were a little confused, I'm, I do apologize. So we're not going to do the front middle one and the back middle one, okay? These will not be attached to anything. So we're going to start off on the second one. Uh, in order to be able to connect it, the foot, um, this is going to be, this part is going to be the inside of the of the leg, obviously. So the outside is on the back, all right? Obviously because this is the front of our knee. So we have to grab with our hook from the inside out. So we're going to grab the second set of bands. And it's going to be, I think it's like four bands in total. Yeah, so there's four bands. All right. So you're going to go from the inside to the outside. Always, okay? And now go ahead and attach that here. That's going to be the first one that we're going to start doing. I'm going to zoom in just a little so you guys can be able to see a little bit more of like what I'm doing. Put the knee back. All right? And now let's go ahead and loop so that way nothing moves out of the way. There's going to be a lot of tension here, so be careful not to break your bands. Okay. And now, we need to go ahead and connect all of these sections here. So let's go ahead and loop this. Back on there, there we go. All right, now we can go ahead and get rid of the back row, so. Obviously, it's still attached right here, so that's good. Let's go ahead to move to the next one. Our knee pad is done, so we're just going to continue focusing on the foot now. The next one right here, since this one's being stretched, obviously this one's going to be the next one. So I'm going to grab these bands. Make sure you have all four. There we go. And I'm going to attach it right here to this peg. Okay. And now go ahead and loom all of these. Don't, don't keep moving this way, you're going to want to keep going diagonal. to help me so that way the bands don't fall out on me or I have like better control. So 
So use your fingers to help you. All right, now that we did that, let's go ahead and get rid of the back row. I always want to do it carefully so that way nothing from the next row comes off. You do not want that yet. All right, so now time to attach the next part. Look on your foot. This is being stretched, so this is the next one right here. So go through all four of these. Attach it right there to your peg and start to loom. Remember to be careful, you don't want to break your bands. There's a lot of tension going on right here. And now keep going this way. Alright, okay, so now oh, the next part of the foot has to be connected. So, so far we've done three sections. So this is going to be our four. The way you can tell is because I know that this was one, two, three. This is going to be a fourth one. On the fifth one we're going to attach the fifth, but we're going to skip the sixth one, okay? And we're going to go to this one after, um, from there on. So let's go ahead and loop that. So you want to be careful and I got way too many bands right here. So these two are the ones that go this side. This one goes here. Maybe grab the last one here. There we go. Alright. Now continue. Alright, oh, I totally forgot I, the, um, the, I need to take out the back rows. So I'm overdue for two back rows. So let's go ahead and take out two. I'm going to take out one first and then I'll do the next one.
Okay. There we go. So now we're now we're all good. So you see how it's coming out? It's all attached right there. So that's good. This is how your foot is going to be looking like. So you know it's coming out right. All right. Now let's move on to the next one. Um, that one's being stretched. So this is n next. And I think this is our last one this is from this side of the foot. Need one more band. There we go. So this should be our fifth one. All right, now that I have that looped, now we can loop all these. All right, now I'm gonna take out the back row. All right, now you have one, two, three, four, five pegs left, which means I have to be the other five pegs on the other side. So this is the next one that is available. So that one I'm gonna skip because that's right in the middle. So I'm gonna go on to this one. It's the next one over, All right? So you see how I skipped that one? Skip it and now twist this one so that way it'll lay on there, All right? So your foot is now moving like this. So make sure that you keep twisting your foot correctly. A lot of bands on this one. There we go. Whew, okay. Alright, now right here stop because obviously we can't be able to do this angle because we have to connect, uh, we have to start connecting our knee pad right here. So at this point we're not going to be looming anything else over. So let's go ahead and get rid of the back row. Except for this one, just go up to this one, okay? keep it there because it's gonna uh, I, I need to make sure like where where these are connected all right so now let's go ahead and continue uh, adding on the next piece so it's gonna be this one right here and go through these four bands 
Okay, something's not right. So there we go. So there's my four bands. And I need to twist it so that way it's on properly. Because remember, you want your foot to continue to turn along with your leg. All right, so this is hard. <laughs> A lot of the bands were already falling off, so I need to put these back on there. There you go. So now I can grab the last two. All right. Perfect. Push this down. All right. So initially your foot wants to do this. All right. But just keep holding it like this so that way it doesn't go flying all around. Now here's the thing. We're going to continue doing our teardrops this way. But because there's nothing connected right here yet. All right. Um, we cannot continue... Um, like after this, after this point, because we're going to do this one and that's it because this one's not connected yet. So we cannot do anything else. All right. So let's just stop until, until we get to this last point and we loop this one here. Okay. And this is the last one I'm going to do because if I go any further, I'm not sure going to mess it up. And I don't want to do that. Um, actually, no. Like, I can actually be able to do this. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now, let's go ahead and do this one. Just don't do these. So it should be okay. Um, let's take out some tension from here. This one, this one, and this one. That should be okay for now. We really don't need that much. Uh, okay, so the next one we're going to add right there. That's being stretched, so this is the next. So you should have one, two, three four of these rows left, one, two, three pegs. So you're you're doing fine. Because remember, this one's not going to be attached to anything. Just these next three. Go ahead and grab your bands. Flip your foot so it continues to turn. All right, so that way it's still like so. All right. Keep your fingers there to help the entire thing stay down and loop. Alright. Let's go ahead and do these. Um, again, all the way to this one. Once we've attached all our sections for a foot, we'll start attaching our knee pad. There we go. Okay, so remember, these are not going to be connected because we're going to be connecting them as we're attaching the knee pad. Uh, let's give it some attention. This one, this one, this one, this one. And that should be good. Okay, 
Now to attach the next one here. We have two left. And also remember we have to attach the bottom part of the knee pad right here as well. As well as the last part of the foot. So when we get to this side, we still have to do everything like this. So it's going to be kind of hard because you have to loop everything from in here. Like this. <laughs> so That's going to be a tricky part. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys are for it. Now this one's the next one, it seems. All right, good. So I'm gonna twist so that way it's attached. Make sure it stays like that for right now until I loop these bands. There we go. Now these. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and touch these. Yeah, we can do these, it doesn't matter. And this one too. And this one. Alright, so now all the inside ones have been looped, so only the outside ones are left. Which means that all the outside ones, of course, are going to be connected to your knee pad. Now we have to attach the final section to our foot. So there's this one and these and this one that's left. So obviously we're gonna do this one, not the not the not the front one. You're gonna first grab this, turn it so it adds on. Okay, so now I added it on. And the next thing we're gonna add is the foot, the, sorry, the knee pad. So again, just like we did before, look for the cap band. There's my cap band right there. So I'm gonna be attaching th this section, but the back two bands. These two bands, all right? The way we have to attach them is the same way, so that way they're not twisting. So my hook is on the inside, and I have to lay them down like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and flip over those bottom two bands. Be careful, you don't want to break your bands, and then lay it on that one. Alright, so now it's being connected correctly. Let's go ahead and get rid of some, some of the tension by removing some bands from these things. Alright. I'm going to do another one right here, and then this one. But I'm not going to do the middle one. This is, This should be the last one that I do. Mm, I mean, it, it might be probably easier just go ahead and continue over, but I want to I want to have that one as the last one. I mean, you can, can probably go all the way, but I mean, like it's actually the way that we set it up, it's gonna be a lot better. So we're just gonna do this one and this one, and that's it. Then we're gonna move on to this side, okay? So we're gonna add another one here, which is this, these next two bands back here. So remember, not the front ones but the back ones. It's gonna be into this one because this one has to be looped up next. Grab the bottom two and loop it. Now the next one, right here, because these two are next. Keep it like that. Grab the bottom two and loop it. All right, so that's not that bad. So you can see right there that our foot is beginning to become hollow in there. And it's looking like that. Okay. Now we have to stretch this all the way over here, okay? So this will be a bit of a a bit of a challenge. So we have one, two, three, four, five. So we have to go five sections to figure out which one's gonna go here? So we have the next one, 
this one, which is going to go here. So it's one, two, three, four, five, right? So now that I have my fifth one, this should be the one that it will be attached here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make sure, again, I'm going from the inside of the knee pad, just those two bands on the back. I'm not grabbing any of the ones that are on, on the front. And keep, keep it curled like this, because you want to put it on like this. And stretch it. Like push, pull, and pull on the knee pad so that way it doesn't stretch too much. So you want to go ahead and kind of keep your fingers like this. And grab the bottom two. Be careful not to take out those bands. And you want to go from the inside. Don't go like this, okay? You want to go from the inside. So loop it on the inside. Stay there. And then go ahead and put them on the peg. And that's fine. Now I can go ahead and get rid of this one to relieve tension. All right. I'm going to do the next one. So go from in here. The, it's these two. I'm going to put it right here on this next peg. The one that needs to be looped, of course. I want to make sure I put this back over here so it doesn't get in my way. All right. So it's still like that. Make sure you pull it upwards so that way you can be able to have room to loop this bottom ones to this side. So go ahead and grab the bottom two bands. And loop it over to this peg carefully because this begins to become harder. You may need help from another hook if you want to, or even use your fingers. I'm going to use another hook to pull these bands out of the way. So I can make sure I do this correctly. There we go. I need to place these right here. I'm going to use my finger to help me. All right, now that I laid it on right there, I'm going to push down so that it doesn't fall. Don't need that there anymore. And I can take this off to relieve tension. Be careful, because you don't want your bands to snap on you. Um, since all this actually has been connected, we can actually relieve tension by removing these. The ones on this side. That would have probably helped out a lot more. <laughs> Sorry about that. Don't go too far, because you still haven't connected these. Okay? So that should be okay. I'm going to take out this one too. Alright, so that's going to definitely help out a lot more. Alright. So it should be looking like this. All right, so let's continue. I'm going to look for my other one to connect right there. And I know it's that one because they're, uh, that's not connected. This has been connected, but not these. So the next one are these two. I can tell because the next one on, uh, over here is being stretched. So these are the next two that I'm going to grab. And go ahead and place those just like that. Right there. And again, you want to kind of pull upwards. So that way you can loop inside. Grab the bottom two. And loop it to the last peg up here. All right. I'm going to push down so it doesn't go anywhere. And now, I'm going to relieve tension from here and from here. And now I just have one section to add, which is this one. These two bands right here. I need to add it onto this peg. Now that I have it right there, I'm going to do a slip knot. So with one band of the same color, you're going to go through all these. 
and you want to make a slip knot. Alright. And you want to slip it from the inside. Make sure you grab it onto all the bands. Now that you have your knot, you want to confirm that you've grabbed all of them, right? So I have them all connected now. They're all being held. Oops, sorry, that's not the right that's not the last one. Sorry about that. <laughs> we have one last one to go. I <laughs> forgot about that one. I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's loop that one then. I'm going to push this out of the way. Like this. And... Let's go ahead and find that one because it fell off. It's this one. these two that one goes there and then this one goes on this one and I can actually put it on right now which is totally fine all right so now they're all connected you see so go ahead and grab this one loop it over to that last one right here and this one should have the slip knot I'm gonna relieve tension from here and then go ahead and put the slip knot on, on this last one. Try to grab the other end. Alright, now that I have both ends, pull the back one over and slip it. And there we go. So now it's been slip knotted. And again, make sure that it grabbed onto all of them. Yep. They've all been grabbed. So now I'm going to go ahead and carefully remove the rest of it. Confirm one last time. Yes. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. So that way it doesn't fall apart on me. And start to shape your, your leg. You want these to kind of pop out. All right. So your leg should be in better shape now. There's an opening right here, which is totally fine. Let's go ahead and grab a C-clip. I need to add it to the slip knot so that way it doesn't come apart on me. And I'm also going to do it onto the, the slip knots right here. The ones from the knee pads. Uh, just going to attach it to both of them. Alright. So now it's attached to, to the both of them so it's not going to fall apart on me. This part, we need to go ahead and close. With the slip knot that we had on the foot. I added, like I said, I added another one to be able to make it longer. And now we're going to go ahead and tangle it in a zigzag motion. It's more open over here on this side than this side. Right? So when you do your other foot, it's going to be the opposite side. So obviously I want to go ahead and close this side first. So I'm going to go from the inside, just somewhere random. You don't want to do it more than three times. So I'm just going to go ahead and do these. Pull. All right, and I'm going to grab one from this side. So I'm going to actually grab um, from, from in here. And I'm going to go ahead and grab those two bands. Pull it through. All right, and now I'm going to go ahead and do the middle one. 
I'm going to do the cap band and go from the inside and pull those in. All right. Now this, I'm going to stick it inside and attach it to this clip. So I'm going to go ahead and go through a hole, grab it with my hook. Come on, there's one, there is two. So I'm going to go ahead and pull them in. There they are. And attach it to the clip. All right. There you go. Now go ahead and do your other foot. I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so for the second leg, uh, you're going to, uh, instead of doing the same exact thing, you're going to be doing it opposite side. So remember how we started right here and we went down to this side and went down here? Instead, we're going to do it on this side, right? So right here, you have one, two, three, four. On the fourth peg right here, that's where you're going to be starting instead. All right, and again, two bands, and go ahead and just create your V right there. I'm just going to do mine really quick, and but show you basically like how to be able to just go from this point on. So, just to kind of start it out for you, it's going to be... Like this, All right? And then, of course, we want to do the next part of the inside of this part. Okay. Once you have that, then of course you're just going to do your extension here, and it's going to be ending here and going down this way and creating your point out this way, okay? So I'm going to show you what it will look like at the end. Then you have this. Once you have this, with your points aligned on each end, just like we did before, then your arrows are still pointing this way. All right. So again, you're going to be placing your, your knee pad at this end without an end cap. So it's a lot easier if you just turn this around. Went ahead and placed your knee cap on and started connecting your foot the same way we did just like the other one all right and then work your way all the way to the t uh to the end all right so pretty much you're just going to go ahead and reflip the entire thing so again work your way up attaching everything onto the pieces with your foot facing this direction towards your shield of course and your knee pad uh, and attaching everything onto the points like we mentioned. Just go ahead and rewind this part uh, and just do it the same way, but in reverse. And then once you've gotten to the point where you've just put your slip knot on and taken everything out, You obviously just have to connect this middle part, but just go ahead and adjust your foot. All right. Slip my gold inside. That one will get connected to everything else. All right, and then you're gonna have your two legs. Okay, so go ahead and connect the inside part to your middle piece right here. All right, and then connect everything with, with your clip at the end, just like that. So that way you have two legs. Okay, and we can start on connecting everything together.